what's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Rockdale 2.0, episode number three. And uh, I think a lot happened since uh, since last time we connected, at least in terms of framing out some new neighborhoods. I said it early on, but for those of you kind of looking for a let's play, that's what Mondays and Fridays are about. This one, I am going to build some stuff offline, show you some time lapses, get you caught up after the fact. And for this area immediately around our first kind of starting interchange here, I wanted to kind of continue with the grid pattern, but also, you know, break up the pattern a little bit. So yeah, it's gridded. Yeah, it's going to be very dense, um, but we're starting to get away from the, uh, the the endless grid down here. And we'll do the same sort of thing on the other side of this uh, four lane road. Now, what I did here was kind of get this all connected. So we had this four lane road running from underneath over here. And then that connects up to a new roundabout over here by the highway, which feeds off into there and into this little industrial area, which seems to be doing okay. I'm gonna put kind of little industrial pockets around the map uh, rather than kind of have one massive area that's a lot tougher to support all the traffic on that exit. If we have kind of little smaller, uh, smaller pieces like this, I think ultimately it will go over well, uh, both from a design perspective as well as just from a traffic manageability perspective. Let's go kind of middle afternoon for a little bit of difference in the shadows. And let's fill this in over here for now. Nope, not that big. So I did, uh, I did break out a giant tree brush and I was kind of thinking over here, we might have like a, a central park between this section and this section of the uh, the massive city center. So I just painted out some trees to uh, to remind me. These are obviously really dense and uh, we need to back those down a bit. So I started, yeah, I started creating some zoning over here and and continuing with tradition, you know, we're supporting it with all the services so that there's kind of an autonomous part of the town here. High school, elementary, hospital, fire, police, uh, fire and police. There we go. So all that's there. Let's um, meet some of our zoning demands and, and start moving some people in up here. Residential by far the uh, the biggest demand that we have right now. So let's get some people moved in off towards the edge of the zone here. The more we kind of bury them back in the neighborhoods, the better, because that way, um, for example, if I'm coming off the main road and I'm hitting commercial, we could have commercial or offices along kind of this strip that cuts underneath. Also this one potentially, but uh, maybe we could do that over here by the highway. So have like two little blocks on either side. Something like that maybe. You may as well connect this through with a uh, a footpath just to define and break up the zone a little bit. If we can get under here, there were apparently some pillars in the way, but it let us build it anyways with uh, with anarchy. If we go over to move it, we can select just the pillar, kind of move it out of the way. It looks like that's the one that was the nope, that one too. Never mind. So now if we come under here, there's actually a path people can walk through without having to uh, without having to uh, <laughs> to teleport through a pole. Um, here, I got a little off center, so let's try and line this up underneath. That works. We may as well do these kind of like right on the edge of the zones, right on the streets. That way there are crosswalks right there. Okay, we've got the most commercial demand now. So here's another thing to, to kind of break up grids. Um, when you look at some big cities, right? How they're they're kind of laid out. They're, they're kind of built in pieces, just like any small town. Uh, so you might run into something like this, where you have a grid that's kind of specked out one way. And then, you know, you have a highway. And this might have been, um, you know, an old road running through town way back in the day that got upgraded. And you might have kind of the, again, these different neighborhoods that spin up off of that, and they might all be built off of a different framework. So in this case, we've got this road 
these two four lanes kind of intersect here at the roundabout. And then it runs off at kind of an odd angle to intersect over here with this four lane road. Now we might also continue this up, but it's just a nice way to kind of change the way that the neighborhoods are framed. If you want to get away from those grids, uh, we'll bring this up to about here for now. Because that should be okay. We'll start to support some smaller, uh, some smaller zoning over this way. So this close to the highway and to our large residential zoning, I'm going to continue with that over here. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We can do that. Let's connect some more footpaths before we do. I'm just going to do this real quick and I will be right back because there's a couple that I forgot to do through here and it's just easier than, uh, than having it zone up after the fact. All right, so I'll fine tune this some more afterwards, but I wanted to get another one of these kind of curvy T intersections in here. I got to remember to turn the parking off because it always throws me off and makes me think that there's more traffic than there actually is. Like right now we're doing pretty good actually. Let's take a quick look at that. 77%, not too bad considering we haven't done anything except build a massive grid and uh, not supported it with any kind of mass transit. We are supporting it again with, uh, with people getting around on foot, which is helping a bit, but there's still plenty of stuff that we can do. So this first exit that we built handles these kind of four quadrants very nicely. Um, and then what I wanted to do up here was change things up a little bit and make it start to get a little bit looser as we get away from that grid. And we'll start to get into suburbs up on the hill and Maybe we can get some farming going over here. But we're going to start to get much looser with, with kind of how the neighborhoods feel. And it's going to drop off from this grid on the other side um, of this main street here. Again, you can kind of think of your cities as having grown up over time like many cities do. And even though I'm kind of designing this one as a modern city center, I I think it should still have that, that feel of having been built up, right? Cities just don't appear out of nowhere. Um, you may have noticed by now a bunch of stuff over here on the edge of the map and uh it actually i must have hidden pop up somehow okay control shift p i had i had forgotten about and that is the hide problems aka politicians mod so it'll just hide all the pop-ups from your view if you don't care about them if you're just building the city to build um i do though i do care i want to i want to build a functional city we are cheating with money I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, and it's not normally what I do. Um, I usually play all legit. Why won't this snap? Just trying to fill in these neighborhoods as best as I can here, and uh, again, kind of slowly work up the zoning so that we always have some demand, but you know, we're we're meeting it in an area so that that part of the town becomes self-sufficient, so that people don't have to travel halfway across town. If the balance in an area is right, you can reduce some of the traffic that's traversing around your city. Now, we haven't really done anything to consider uh, traffic management. I am saving uh, ideas in my head for where I want to drop metro stations. And we'll kind of have one line that covers maybe, you know, industrial through this side of town, maybe up here through this side, and we'll have some sort of central hub somewhere here kind of around the Central Park and between the, the two major parts of our city. I wouldn't mind actually just trying to figure out real quick how much space we might save for a Central Park. Like what would 30, I gotta figure out what's up with my snapping. I broke something with my snapping so bad. Cause it is not behaving the way that it should be. So when I was trying to figure out how to uh, undo the pop-ups, I definitely did something with my snapping. Cause like it's not, why, like, come on. That looks like the correct node to me to be snapping to. But it's not. <laughs> now, if I anarchy it, it's totally fine because it doesn't care about road collision. But I don't know what I did to my snapping. Is this toggle node snapping? Okay, so apparently there's a shortcut key for that because I did not go into that menu. So, find road tool. I think that's what it was. I think that's what it, yeah, it's totally what I broke. So I did a bunch of um, footpaths over here with that turned off, unfortunately. So let's see, how big of a park do we want to do? That's 30. Let's do at least 
60? What would that look like? If we had kind of that area defined as a central park? That, that let's, let's look from up above. Is that massive enough? You can't see it from space entirely, so I'm not sure if I like it. But it's, um, can we control shift P? That hides the problems. There's a thing to hide all the, the policy icons, unfortunately. I don't remember what that is. I'll have to look. It's basically from right in the middle of the Myrtle District to that other road you can see. I mean, it's sizable, right? It's, it's not small. I think that might be good. I think let's, 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 hmm. I'm debating, I'm debating that. So do we do kind of a big one through here or do we do a big one through, you know, this, this area? I have to figure out how we're gonna kind of slope things down into smaller zones. And on the other side of this hill makes tons and tons of sense. There's an, like a natural land barrier there. I mean, we could kind of extend this around that way so that there's a similar feel over here and create some separation between the zones, but I won't worry about that too much. I'm just gonna fill out uh, over here and figure out kind of how to start sloping down this way. But I think that'll be kind of next episode stuff where I'll, we'll, we'll frame out some roads, right? We'll run some roads kind of along some of the hills and maybe we'll terraform as we go. But I wanna figure out these little pockets, right? And if we go to the districts, I kind of designed some of those here, so it made sense to kind of have a flat road that came up that way, but maybe we do another highway exit to support, you know, a lot of this smaller community that will be up here. And then maybe this side can kind of piggyback off this one and come down into this part of town. And maybe that one has an option to go around in that way. We'll, we'll come up with some different things, but the, uh, the original modern city you know, the, 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 the founding area of our town, I think, is uh, off to a good start. But we'll do the uh, the modern city center buildings and the big uh, financial district and skyscrapers over down this way. Uh, and again, we'll kind of build things up. So we'll go from the high-rise man buildings to non-high-rise commercial to residential and then office and then... Uh, industrial, not industrial, uh, IT cluster specialization, which is going to give us the tallest buildings in a small little section of our downtown. So um, we'll make room for that. We'll make room and start thinking about Metro. I'm also thinking, and this isn't a promise or anything, but I'm also thinking about getting into Metro Overhaul Mod, which I haven't spent enough time with. I, I messed around with it in the, in the beta when it was closed, um, but... It, it could be kind of interesting. Could we could we squeeze a uh, a train line through here? I, I think we might be able to. Do we have a one random business that I zoned off through there? That's kind of cool. You can see the uh, what's it? Squirrel on a donut from the highway. All right, sorry, getting distracted. So hopefully you're getting some ideas from this series. Just trying to trying to share my thought process and it's a little different um and it may be totally different it's a little different from my normal video it also may be totally different from what you kind of envision when you see the space but i i hope people are just getting inspiration and, and entertainment and information um that's that's really my goal every time so hopefully you're enjoying rockdale as much as i am or a fraction of it at least and it will still be worthwhile uh but i i'm really liking this build so far it is in some ways a, a grid right it's it's undeniably a grid let's say that um and that can be boring but you can also find ways to kind of to break it up and shift it and snap the grids together like some kind of jangled tetris game and uh, and that's just kind of what i'm having fun with i i really liked rockdale but you know aesthetically it wasn't the best um it was a good start for the channel and a good start for my let's plays but I've grown so much as a builder since uh, since that series came out. And looking back at it now, it's kind of painful. So we'll see if we can take a lot of the concepts and a lot of the different things we did in Rockdale, but just fuse it into a better city. I'm not gonna zone here. I'm gonna plant trees here. I 
this zone got a little we messed up. But that's okay. We'll have some some different buildings. Some different shapes come out of it, which is good. So I'm not exactly sure this probably this probably won't be the outro. I'm going to build a little bit more and just kind of give you a, a time lapse and talk about, circle back about kind of what, where we go from here. But uh, but let me zone out. Let me zone out just a little bit more here. I think we can tuck in some more office right here. Because we've got the demand. And this will totally flatline our residential demand at this point. Let's... While we're at it, while I see them in the distance and while I remember, let's get something in one of these residential areas. So, what would be kind of cool? Well, you know what? We haven't dropped this one in yet, I don't think. BB King's Blues Club. We'll find a spot for this kind of on the edge of a commercial and residential area down here. Can we drop it right there? Right there, kind of on the corner? Let's de-zone whatever is trying to zone up over here. We don't need stuff right there on top of the Blues Club. Let's do that. Let's see if we can fill in some more trees here or there. Is this... That's zoned, right? That's not zoned? Why was that not zoned? Okay, this won't fill up right away. But that's okay. Maybe we do, maybe we do this. Uh, commercial. Okay, let's uh, break out a footpath real quick. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be traversing over here. That's okay. See if we can get this to snap where we want it without having to toggle different snapping options. So that's okay. That gives people a, a, a cut over there. And there is technically a crosswalk there. So if people were going to cut across the zone, they could. If it causes too much backup over here, we'll, we'll worry about that later. I haven't done anything traffic manager wise to um, roundabouts or anything like that yet. So we'll give priority. I take it back. Priority to those already on the roundabout so they can get off and clear it for the next person that wants to come on industrial area is working okay we've got a cargo train station as well that i dropped in here to get some goods into the city uh, and maybe help export these but i'll also run this along and have some different cargo stops where we can deliver goods to warehouses nearby to support the uh the city and actually come to think of it i didn't check this industries Warehouses? Can we drop warehouses in right away? So let's let's look at this real quick. Um, where are our uniques? Where do we where do we have space? Okay. So this is just a regular warehouse. What can we store for goods here? Commercial zones, goods. So I think it was Kung Fu mentioned this in the Discord, and this is awesome. So when you're building out industrial areas, if you have the industries DLC. You could produce goods, send them off to processing buildings, send them to factories. You can also store particular goods so that when you have an excess of them, you know, they're not just sitting there waiting to go to production. They're they're going to go to the, the storage yard. And I think it was, again, Kung Fu that pointed out commercial goods, goods, commercial zones, goods. You can basically, you know, if you have a, a surplus of goods being manufactured in town and you occasionally get, you know, not enough goods to sell, well, store the excess goods when you have them in the commercial area and that way you don't have to send trucks back and forth as much we could have like storage yards kind of tucked in the way or, or, or warehouses tucked off to the side of some of these commercial zones um, and then from there sorry this is gonna bother me I'm just gonna fill in the trees over here I don't know that these are staying oh it's so it's so dense I need to turn down the density of that even if we did that's okay. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back and do that. I'm totally going to run out of prop space if I fill in with trees like that, though. 
So zoning wise is all this zoned. This over here is not. So we've got a little bit of commercial demand, a little bit of industrial. Industrial's nice. Um, office padding for zones. It's pretty good. So we'll tuck some offices in there. It shouldn't bother the apartments in behind uh, too much. Do we have like regular houses kind of creeping in there? I guess they're like townhouse apartments, multifamily homes. So we will kind of build off of this and, and, and fit something into here. And then we'll start to plateau and, and decide where we want little townships up on the hills and build some stuff in and around uh, our town. Can we drag anything else over here? Did I turn my problems off again? I did, okay. So I do have all this stuff turned off. We've got most of the monuments dropped in. The one that I don't have is the collider, unfortunately, because for whatever reason, I don't have the, the requirements for the aquarium, which I think are 5,000 students in school. So we're already halfway there at a population of 32,000. We'll get there. We're providing plenty of coverage. Uh, Policies, services, education boost is on. Okay, good. So we are educating our town, pushing them into the office jobs, but we'll have some industry jobs too. We can do industry 4.0 policy at some point, and that lets us have uh, for, what is it, well and educated, well educated, the top two tiers, um, the industries will be for that. So we'll really focus in on education. We'll get a couple campuses in to do battle. Uh, we'll put uh, two uh, sports complex, maybe one on either side of the river makes sense, right? This could be this could be a state line, right? And, and rival schools across the river from one another. Um, and we can have, you know, slightly different feels to slightly different feels to the, um, the approach on either side of the town. So let's bulldoze that. Get a new cemetery in there. We already filled one up. I'll be sure and keep my uh, my problems icon on because that's not going to be good if we don't know when stuff is happening. I can't figure out what's up with the crime. It's got to be that disconnected area. There's just nothing. There's nothing over here. Where? How come I can't find it every time I go to turn? Um, so there's no power and water here, which I think is part of their problem. This will pass power as long as that has water. So. Let's just come over here for now, see if we can get this working. See if we can get the police to help out what's happening over here. So that power, that should power the, is this the fusion? No, that's the space elevator. Whoa, lag. Uh, this is the fusion power plant. Let's power that on. So now we have more power than, than we need. We, I think we had more power than we needed already with just the nuclear power plant. Yeah, we did. Um, but let's see, now the police are, are on the prowl. And let's see if this 39 number goes down at all. Is it all over here? I mean, a good number of the problems, the police problems are over here. We're down to 28, that's good. It's just the, the only cars driving around here are the, the police cars on a loop. Oh, technically not on a loop since I didn't let them come around on this side. There you go. All right, so this is all stuff that we will consider to drop in our town. I think we should get one of the malls in, right? Did I drop the mall of moderation in already? I feel like I did. No, I didn't. Let's move that over here somewhere. Somewhere where we can tuck it in. Maybe that could kind of be... On a strip right here. Maybe closer down over here. We'll do that for now. Moved a bunch of people out apparently. <laughs> a lot of people went scrambling out of that building. So let's turn that one on. Let's call it quits for today. And let's get one more cinematic look. Where did I where did I put it? Uh sweep load so we're coming along nicely i like the fall trees but 
those are going to be a performance killer in the long run. So we might we might pull away the trees. I'm trying to be better about placing them this time uh, after the buildings are already zoned in, so that you know they don't create this unnecessary overlap of remembering where trees are when when there's going to be a lot of a lot of concrete and a lot of buildings. It's going to be a dense map. Um, We'll see what we can get up to for population. I, I don't think 200,000 will be a problem conservatively. Um, but above that requires a lot of management. It may not be as fun. And I think it would be kind of fun to, yes, have a massive downtown city center on either side of the river here. But then I, I really want to use the 81 tiles and do something that I haven't done, which is really feather things off properly on the edge of the map and make it so that when we go into something like cinematic camera, even when you can see the background, it looks... It looks like one cohesive city and you can't see the edges of the map. You can't see um, kind of where it drops off and dies. And I think that would be really fun, um, at least for me, hopefully for you too. Hopefully you're enjoying. This is Rockdale. And this is just a little different from the Let's Plays. It's more about the theory and kind of getting caught up on some of these ideas than it is about showing you every little step along the way. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you want something a little different, a little more step-by-step and -step how-to, check out the Monday and Friday Let's Plays Wednesdays is something a little different, including updates to series like Rockdale. So subscribe if you're new and hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. Thanks as always for the support. If you'd like to support the channel, there's links in the description down below. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off. Yeah.